everyone, thank you for staying tuned to our channel and today we'll be talking about 10 facts about Rwanda. Fact number one, the greeting ritual. When greeting in Rwanda, handshakes are appropriate in almost all situations. The Rwanda handshake is often energetic and most times lasts throughout the process of greeting. In fact, in certain situations where a conversation takes place right after the greeting, the handshake lasts throughout the entire conversation. Truth. Rwandans try their very best to avoid hurting others. In fact, in some certain cases, Rwandans would avoid telling the truth if telling it would hurt the person whom they're speaking to. Even though to others this might appear as lying, to Rwandans is being sensitive to that person's feelings. Fact number three, the indirect eye contact. Generally, people prefer indirect eye contact, but this does not mean that they won't look at you directly. But what they avoid is direct eye contact throughout the entire conversation. They see it as unnecessary, so they would rather glance at some part of your face now and then, other than your gaze. Hey, Madam Emeka, it's good to see you. Uh, it's good to see you too. <laughs> yeah, hey, you know, I've been well. around, though. They're not hey, hey, love hey. 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 You know, these days, your yeah. face is shiny. Uh, your face is shiny. My sister, very mm. soon, very soon. Ah, very when soon. are you coming to the women's meeting? Ah, next week, next ah, week. Okay, yes. well, I'll see you in the women's meeting. I'll oh. see you too. Okay, now, nah, bye bye. Bye bye. Fact number four a mark of respect. The Rwandan society can be somewhat hierarchical. Why is the ice cream man coming right now? We are shooting. Why? It's hot mm. outside. Wow, lullaby, it's ice cream. So, avoiding direct eye contact is a mark of respect. This is especially so in the case of women and children. This group of Rwandans would often bow their heads or look away when conversing with men or elders. Fact number five, pointing is meant for dogs. Pointing at people in Rwanda's social norm is viewed as odd. It is rude. This goes for almost all East African countries. If you're pointing at somebody, basically you are calling them a doggo. Instead of pointing at the person, you use your whole arm to refer to a person. Whole oh, arm. Um. <laughs> Yo! Receive it. Yo! Uh. Hey, 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 you, 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 you. <laughs> Fact number six, clothes not to wear. In Rwanda, the way you dress either gives you the respect of an adult or gives you respect of a kid. For example, there are outfits that an adult should wear and shorts and not part of those outfits. In Rwanda, only schoolboys wear shorts and if an adult is wearing shorts, then basically he's no more sensible than a kid. Don't wear shorts as an adult in the summer in Rwanda, period. Fact number seven, when not to take pictures. Photo taking is not prohibited in Rwanda. In fact, it is very much allowed in Rwanda. Ta -da! But the practice is not without restrictions. Oh yes, there are restrictions. For instance, it is illegal and highly prohibited to take pictures of government buildings. Doing it could lead to serious consequences. Oh, the government house! Free! Oh! Fact number eight. Relaxed laws. The Rwandan drinking age is 18. However, it is very mildly enforced. Pubs, drinking joints, and bartenders are known to serve booze to people younger than 18. In the same way, the legal smoking age is 18, but still hardly enforced. Fact number nine unvoiced disbelief. In Rwanda, you can express a couple of things without actually voicing them. For example, when talking to a Rwandan, he or she will toss their head aside, uttering, eh? What he or she is trying to tell you is that <laughs> what you are saying is unbelievable. It's not, it's not true. And finally, fact number 10! Boom, 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 boom! Funny food taboos! Apparently, many people are very superstitious. And one of the superstitions is in the area of what happens when you eat certain part of a fish. 
and another has to do with eating green bananas. Rwandans believe that when you eat a fish brain, the devil will come visit you at night. They also believe that if you eat green banana, it will cause your bottom, your butt, butt to grow fast. So, for those of you going wanting extra, eat green banana. Hey, I need to eat more green banana, so hmm, let me go get some. Hmm, this green banana must work. It will work. Ah, hey. Eh, this green banana really works though. Ha uh -uh. Can you see? Eh, hey, I'm a Nikki. Eh, hey. oh, thank you, Jesus. At this time, like say special thank you to Hewer10 who helped us with the script for this video. Hewer10 is a fellow YouTuber and is also from Rwanda. Don't forget to check out his channel at Hewer10. Let him know that I sent you. Thank you again, you were 10. So that brings us to the end of this video and 10 funny facts about Rwanda. If you've learned something new, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment on this video because she definitely has. She got a brand new something. <laughs> she has a new, she got a learn something something you know with the green bananas so y'all there try the fish brain go I'll get you some words. green bananas but what she said <laughs> what i said <laughs>